Hey everybody, welcome back to the Beard of Bonsai YouTube channel. Today, you can see we're going to be working with all these ginkgo trees. I air layered these about eight weeks ago. And if you're not familiar about air layers, what they are, or in particular, how to do it, just go to my channel and search for the air layer Japanese maple video. I go step by step exactly how to do an air layer. Um, and if you can do one, you can do them all. Like air layers are all the same. They all work the same. So whether it's a maple, a ginkgo, a plum tree, it doesn't matter. Air layers all work the same. So go check that video out if you don't know what air layering is or if you'd like to know how to do it. Uh, and then come back to this one. So like I said, we air layered these about eight weeks ago. The roots are literally popping through some of the plastic on these so it is time to cut them off remove our air layers and pot them up so that's what we are going to be doing today out of these seven air layers six of them worked so that's a really good success rate i'm really excited about that um, i'll show you the one that did not work as well and we will get these potted up let's get to it so here's our first tree that we air layered. All of these ginkgos were grown from seed. And as you can see, this tree is actually three trees that were plant planted very close together to produce this multi trunk or a triple trunk tree. So as you can see, I air layered all three of these. And this top one took you can see the roots here. This one took, it is covered in roots. And this smaller one did not take. And you'll notice, hopefully I wiggle this here for you can see, above the air layer, there aren't any leaves because that part of the tree is now dead. Below the air layer, you can see it's still just fine. So out of the seven trees I air layered, we got six that took, and then we lost the smallest one. So the whole point of me air layering these is I want to turn this into a nice bonsai tree. So below these air layers, we will cut off and those three smaller trunks will now begin to grow and produce new shoots and we'll turn that into a bonsai tree. The part with the roots above the air layer, that will now become its own new tree. So it's a good way to produce new material. Like once these grow some more, maybe in a year or two, I'll air layer them again and make even more trees. Um, air layering is a really cool way to propagate your trees. You can produce your own material. If you have a tree that you just absolutely love and you want another one, carbon copy just like it, you can make one with an air layer. Um, it's just such a cool thing to, to see actually work. It's really fun. Uh, the first time you check it and you see your roots, it's just a really cool feeling. It's a really fun project. And it's a really good way to reproduce some of your favorite trees. So maybe if something ever happens to one, you already have another to replace it. So let's go ahead and remove our air layers. So you can see all these roots. This guy here is covered with roots, so that is a great sign. I just have some normal garden shears here, some Felcos. A lot of you are probably familiar with these. Um, I did clean this off with alcohol before I'm using it now. You always want to do that to prevent any diseases of the tree or anything from spreading. So all you do is right below where you air layered it. We're just going to squeeze, give it a twist. Cut that right off of there, and there you go. There's our new tree. As you can see, look at that. Those roots are literally growing through the plastic coming out of there. So that'll be our new tree on that one. Show that to you in a minute. Here's our second air layer. Again, you're just going to go just below your plastic and just cut it right off. There's two. 
And here is our third one that did not take. So you can see on this one, the side branch we want. So we want to make sure we cut above that. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. And there you have it. There you can see our new multi-trunk ginkgo tree. So this will, of course, be refined and styled as it grows, but that's, that's it. That's, that's how these bonsai start a lot of times. The way they look when they start and the way they look when they finish uh, is radically different. And so you can see them. All right, so let's go ahead and make quick work of these. Again, right below it, and then just cut it off. Right below the air layer. Cut it off. Another one here. I want to make sure I go above this branch. We don't want to cut that branch off. We want that to remain. That one is actually pretty good sized. And the last one here, you can see this one's already going to its yellow fall color. And that's fine. Uh, trees, when they're stressed, sometimes will do that. They'll hit fall color early. And of course, these are stressed uh, being air layered, so that's that's no big deal. I would be stressed too if somebody cut me in half. <laughs> so there you go. That's what we're left with. I have a small one on the right. There's a taller one next to it. Kind of a double trunk there. I'll probably end up separating those. And then our triple trunk that we did. All right, so there we have our six new ginkgo trees, ready-made trees. So we will pot these up and I'll show you that process now. All right, so here you can see we have our mix and we have six one gallon containers to pot these trees up into. The light areas like there, 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 that uh, what you are seeing is just some sphagnum peat moss, the same stuff I used to air layer these. It really does seem to promote root growth and that's what we want. Now potting these up, this is August 20th of 2024. So being it's like late, late August, I want these to grow as many roots as possible to help them make sure they survive the winter. So that's uh, aside from the sphagnum peat moss, I also put in some finely chipped up pine bark and the rest of it, probably 70, 80% of it is just a ready-made soil mix that you'll find at any big box stores. Uh, this one in particular is uh, garden soil is what the label said. So that's all there's to it. Nothing special. So I have one here that we are going to pot up and just look at this. Look at the amount of roots. And if I hold this for a focus, you can see some of these even they grew through the plastic. Like that is crazy and so cool. So let's take our wire off. We can actually have a, a much better look at these. I'm pretty pumped to see this. This is always so much fun to do. Feels like a kid on Christmas, I'm telling you. If you have not tried air layering, you should try it. It really is so much fun. So exciting. So cool. All right, so we have our 
pieces of wire off. Let's take our plastic off. Oh my gosh. Look at those roots. That is absolutely wild. All right, so you can see here, all I used was just, you know, your normal small bubble wrap that I just cut a square off to wrap this stuff in. And getting caught up. Here we go. So here you can see, look at these roots, guys. That is absolutely crazy. All the way around. Definitely more on this side, but all the way around. You can see here, there's actually some, some grass growing in this a little bit. That is crazy. I think that might actually be the, the sphagnum moss growing. <laughs> Everything was growing in there. But check that out. That is wild. That is so wild. So those are nice kind of mature roots. Um, you can see they're not white. Like the tips are very light yellow. Sorry about that. Or whitish. Um, the darker it is, those are more mature roots. Um, but you can see they're even coming out up here. Now I've seen people do go about this in several ways. Some of them take the moss out and they feather all the roots out. I am not going to, uh, look at that. There's, there's some more right there trying to pop out. I am not going to do that with this one. I don't want to disturb these. They are doing great and I want them to keep growing. So this ball of sphagnum peat moss, we are going to just leave it on there and this is how it works. I put put a little bit, whoops, put a little bit down in here already. So I'm gonna make kind of a little hole to set this set this root ball down in. All right, so we can see the roots there. There we go. Trying to look and film at the same time. So it goes right down in there. Hope you can see this. It's kind of tough to do. I use one of our other pots to make this easier. So just dump this in here. Get that filled up. All right. So sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Getting leaves all in the way. All right. So. What you want to do is kind of get it packed down into here. Now you don't want to be too rough with it or pack it down too tight. Oh gosh. <laughs> Almost knocked my camera over. All right. Let's bring this back. All right. There you can see it. So you don't want to get it too packed down um, or push too hard because you don't want to damage those roots. If you damage those roots, this thing will for sure die. So we'll get some more in here. Spread it around. Pack it in there a little bit, but nothing too harsh. And there you go. That is our brand new tree. So let me set this down here. And show you what we're working with. All right, so here is our tree that we just potted up. And check it out here. And there you go, you can see it. I think that's so cool to take one tree and just turn it into two instantly. So there you go. We will grow this tree on and make it possibly bonsai this tree as well. You can see it already. If we were to grow it on and cut it right there, it already has this cool cascade branch kind of going on there so that's one possibility who knows but let me get the rest of these potted up and i'll show you the final outcome here
right, I just had to show these to you guys. This is so cool. Check this out. This is tree number two. Just absolutely loaded with roots everywhere. All right, here is tree number three. Not quite as many as the first two, but still really well rooted and should be good to go. Here is tree number four. Funky root curled up up top there. You can see. Still has a good amount of roots shooting out here. Kind of all the way around. I think that'll be okay. Here is tree number five. It has the least amount of roots I've seen on any of these so far, but we are going to go ahead and pot it up. We'll see, see if it turns out okay. I think it has enough to pull through, but we'll see. And here is the last one, tree number six. Again, not as many roots as the first few we did, but you can see there's several places they're poking through. There's a couple just shooting through. And I'm sure there are more roots within this moss ball that just aren't long enough to be seen yet. So I think it'll be fine. That is our sixth tree. All right. So as you can see, we have our six new trees all potted and lined up here. We have our original six trees up front. And if you remember, we started out with these seven original trees six out of the seven air layers did root and take so now from seven trees we now have a total of 13 trees that's so cool and so fun uh, it's so fun to do if you've never tried air layering if you're interested at all give it a try it's it's just really fun and such a good feeling when you check your air layers and you see those roots just starting to poke through the moss and show themselves then you know you have a successful air layer. It's really, really rewarding and just plain fun. I would compare it to when you plant seeds in the ground and the seeds just start to pop through. Same type of feeling, kind of like a kid on Christmas. If you're a gardener or a bonsai person of any kind, it's really, really enjoyable. Uh, if you're looking for a way to get kids into it, I suggest giving that a try as well. It's it's something really cool that I think they'd really enjoy and just to see and learn and be a, be a part of. So for these trees, the original ones you see up front, I'm going to use these to turn into bonsai trees. So on the end, we'll have a nice triple trunk, um, a couple singles. As you can see, this one has a really funky curve in it. I'll probably accentuate that some more through wiring and use this new leader. Uh, to make a, a funky design there with that. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then we have a, a double here that we can use as a double trunk or separate it and have two individual trees. But we'll see. Time will tell. We'll let these grow next spring when they leaf out. They should shoot out a lot of new growth all down the trunks from where they were chopped off because now all that energy doesn't have anywhere to go except the one liter. So they should back bud uh, a lot down the trunks for our six new trees back here we will just let them grow for a year maybe two make sure their roots are good and established before we mess with them too much but i will either grow these on to air layer them yet again once they grow enough or um i'm thinking about using them all to create a really large scale uh ginkgo bonsai forest either way it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to look really cool. And I definitely invite you back to my channel to stay, so to keep up with this project and stay tuned with all the updates. Uh, as always, I really appreciate all the views, the comments that you guys leave, especially the follows. Uh, so if you're not already and you're watching this video, I thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and keep coming back. I have such a fun time making these videos and just sharing what I'm passionate about with trees, whether it's garden trees, bonsai trees, maples, what have you. I just absolutely love them all. And I appreciate you all for tuning in. Until next time, have a great day and I'll see you later.